In this tutorial, we'll learn how we can create a multi-line text in Blender, and we'll make use of the geometry nodes for this purpose. In our previous tutorial, we learned how to create a clean text, using geometry nodes, that has a flawless internal structure. It is very helpful when you bend the text or deform it in some way. Our complete node setup was something like this. Here, in this string to curves node, we can enter whatever is our input text, in this string field, but it does not allow us to enter a multi-line text input. So we'll learn how to solve that thing. The link to our previous tutorial is given in the video description. It will help if you first watch that for a complete understanding, you'll know better how these nodes are set up here. Let us move these nodes toward right, and get some space to work. Now go to the Add menu, and under the Input group, add a string node, and place it somewhere here. Then press Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate this node. So these two nodes will contain the two parts, or two separate lines of our text input. In this first string, let us enter the first line, maybe 5 minutes. And here, our second line of text input will go. Now, in order to connect these two strings together, go to the Add menu, and under Text, add a Join String node, and place over here. Then connect these two strings to the input side of this Join String node. You can add here, as many strings as you want. You have to then connect its output to the input string of this node. And you'll get the two parts of the text joined here. But we want them on two separate lines. So we have to use this delimiter field. Let us again go to the Add menu, and under Text, add a Special Characters node, and place it somewhere here. Now, connect its line break output to this delimiter field. And you'll see that the entire text is converted into two separate lines as we wanted. Now, if you want, you can also add another line of text in another string node here. Let us write, YouTube channel. And enter. We have to connect this to the string bucket as usual. And you'll get the three text inputs on three separate lines. This is very helpful because you don't need to maintain a separate object for each line of your text. But there is a catch here, what if we want to change the font, or the style of any one part, let's say we want to reduce the font size of this last line. We have to make some change in our node tree if we want to use multiple styles for the text input. We have to copy this string to curves node. So select it and press Shift D to duplicate this node. Place it close to the other nodes. We have to now break this particular connection. So remove this connecting line and instead connect it to the string input of this second curves node. Let us minimize these nodes so that we have all our nodes together in a compact area. We can expand them whenever we need. So we get two separate curves from these two nodes and we need to join them into one. So in the Add menu, under Geometry, add a Join Geometry node and place it right here. We have to connect these two curves together to the input side of this Join Geometry. Now we'll get everything together like this, but they are overlapping with each other. So we have to change the position of these curves. Let us go to the Add menu, and again under Geometry, we have to add a Set Position node, and place it after the curve. This node will change the position of this curve object. Now, press Shift D to duplicate this, and then attach it to our first curve. We can use these three offset values, in order to change the position of our text objects. Since we want a vertical separation for them, ideally, we should increase or decrease this Z offset value. But you can see that we have applied a rotation of 90 degrees here, in order to make our text object upright. So, instead of the Z offset, we have to play with this Y value. You can experiment with these offsets, and find out what works best for your scene. Let us change this Y value, or the offset, to 2. And we'll move down this second part of the text, say by one unit. So now the text will appear perfectly in three separate lines. And the good thing is, it is still just one single object. Also, if you want to change the font of this bottom part, you have to make the change in this second curve node. To change its font, just open this, select any font that you like, and it will reflect on your object. You can also change the font size by changing this number as suitable. So finally, our output is here. We have a single text object with multiple lines and multiple font styles. 
This will be very helpful when we animate the text, or maybe we apply some special effect on the whole object together. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.